I mean, you've probably heard of the study from MIT, which showed that essentially using ChatGPT is making our brains atrophy. For context, they had roughly 54 participants, I think it was, over four months. And they allowed some of them to use just their brain, some of them to use Google search, and some of them to use ChatGPT. And they found a bunch of different interesting findings. One of them was that roughly 80% of people that use ChatGPT to write an essay could not remember a single sentence from what they just produced um, versus the brain group and the Google group who could remember pretty much everything that they had written. The other finding was that the, the communication was soulless, described as soulless by objective observers. And the last thing is just the impact it had on the brain. They found that the connections in the brain, I think, were roughly 50% weaker um, because they hadn't been using their brain. And you think about this atrophy. So like we talk about go to the gym, you use it. If you don't use it, you lose it. But also um, as it relates to the brain and maybe our skills to form relationships, maybe there's going to be an atrophy there. Oh, there, there absolutely is. 